Algebra work problems number 15, write solve equations with brackets. Brackets and parentheses are commonly used in algebraic equations, and they tell us which part of the equation to do first, or it separates operations from each other. And brackets are usually used with parentheses. Depending on how the equation is written, we either do what's inside first, or we use a distributive property to open the equation up. So take a look at this one right here. We've got 4 times 2 times 3 plus 2. Now we can either start on the very, very inside here and do 3 plus 2 is 5, and then multiply the 5 times the 2 to get 10, and then multiply this whole thing inside of here that equaled 10 times 4 to get 40. Or we could have gone 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 times 2 is 4, that gets us 10, and then multiply this whole 10 by the 4 to get 40. Either way, we could have opened it up, or we could have started on the inside, but there was no variable inside of here, and we don't have anything on the other side of the equal sign. See? So to solve for an unknown variable inside the brackets, we use the distributive property to open the equation up by doing all the multiplication, sort of like we did right here. Okay? So remember, when a variable is in more than one term, the separated terms can be combined by adding or subtracting the coefficients as it tells us to do so. And we need to be on the lookout for those variables that can be combined. And remember, the coefficient is the number in front of the variable. Once this variable leaves, he's just a standalone number. All right? So they can be added or subtracted to each other. Also remember that any inverse operation done on the left side of the sign needs to be done on the right side of the sign and vice versa. So we maintain our balance, so our scale doesn't become too heavy on one side, okay? So here's the equation we need, the problem we need to write the equation for. For four days, once each morning, then again in the evening, Bob ate nine sugar cookies and X amount of chocolate cookies. If he ate a total of 96 cookies in four days, how many chocolate cookies did he eat each time? Okay, it sounded long, but we can break it into little baby parts and it'll be no problem. So we think we need to find the amount of chocolate cookies he ate each time, right? So that means if he ate sugar cookies and chocolate cookies, sugar plus chocolate is going to equal 96. So we've got that much. He ate nine sugar cookies, and X chocolate means to add the nine to the X. He ate the nine sugar cookies plus the chocolate cookies at each sitting, okay? Once in the morning and again in the evening means he did it twice a day. So that's two times he did the 9 plus x. So now we have 2 times 9 plus x inside of parentheses. For four days means he did it four times. So that means we've got the 2 times 9 plus x four times. So now we put brackets to separate this group from the 4. See? It keeps our operations separate. See that? So he ate a total of 96 means it equals 96. So now we have our equation of 4 times 2 times 9 plus x equals 96. So let's solve this guy, all right? I'm going to show you two ways, this way and this way, all right? So the first thing I want to remind you of, and if you've seen my videos before, you know about my mother bird and her babies. We have a distributive parentheses nest. So here's the parentheses, and here's what's inside the parentheses, the number on the outside, or the mother bird, takes turn feeding each one, okay? She doesn't skip one, she doesn't want one to starve, so she has to equally give each one food, right? Sometimes there's three, four, or five things inside of a parentheses if it's a really long equation, but you have to remember that the mother bird takes turn feeding each one, okay? So, these are nested because this parentheses is nested inside of these brackets, see that? So the first way I'm going to show you how to solve it is just by dividing both sides by the inverse operation division. We know that this is four times what's ever inside the brackets. So what we're going to do is divide the 4 by 4 and the 96 by 4. It's this 4 we're using. And that's going to get rid of this 4. 96 divided by 4 is 24. And now our equation says 2 times 9 plus x equals 24. I'm going to do it again. We want to get rid of that too. So now we multiply, we divide both sides by 2 because it's the inverse of multiplication which is going on right here. And now we have 9x, 9 plus x equals 12 because 24 divided by 2 is 12. 
Oh, now it's getting easier, isn't it? We can isolate x by subtracting 9 from both sides, because this is a plus 9, we'll do a minus 9. Now we have x equals 3, so we know we ate 3 chocolate cookies at each sitting. All right, now here's the other way. It's the opening it up way, okay? So this is the other option that you could have done. We could do 2 times 9 is 18, plus 2 times x is 2x. So now we have 4 on the outside of the bracket times 18 plus 2x equals 96. Now we distribute, like the mother bird, to each baby, to each one of those, and we've got 4 times 18 is 72, plus 4 times 2 is 8. So now we've got 72 plus 8x equals 96. Well, now we can subtract 72 from each side and get 8x equals 24. And now because 8x means 8 times some number that the variable is standing for, that's multiplication, we use division on each side to isolate this x, and then the 8 over 8 becomes a 1, and it drops off. We discard it, right? Because we just can, we can see there's 1x there. We don't need to put a 1 in front of it. And now we have x equals 3 because 24 divided by 8 is 3. Now, did you see what I did? The first time, I just started dividing as the inverse to get rid of that 4 on the outside. And then I did it again, again to get rid of the 2 on the outside, and I got it down to the 9x. And we were able to solve it. The other way was to use my mother bird's distributive parentheses nest way. And on the inside, because I can't distribute this yet, I have to distribute this yet. This is the mother bird. That's the grandmother. Think of it that way. So we had to start in here and distribute. We did, and then the outs outermost one was able to be distributed. But either way, we came up with the same answer, didn't we? So figure out which way would be best, depending on your equation and your problem. That could make a difference, okay? And I hope this was helpful. I hope it showed you, you know, how to use the brackets and parentheses. And keep your chin up. I know this can be really confusing. But there's math in everything. There's math in my breathing. There's math in my heartbeat. There's math in the ceiling fan above me. There's math in my clock. There's math in this dry erase board and how they put the frame together. Everything in the world is math. It's unbelievable. All right? You're going to do fine. I'll see you next video. Bye.